Hello, and welcome to a not a haul video. Uh, so this is a Lego Ideas 21322. It's the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Uh, it's a little bit of glare in the corner where the name is, but that's what it is. <laughs> there, it's a little bit better. Um, and this is a not a haul about this set. And there's two different, uh, two or more different things going on. So now this is not the item in question that's not the haul. The not the haul is no longer here. Um, so this is the story. I saw this show up for a sale price on Walmart that I believe to be 15% off. And I know that it's retiring at the end of the year, at least theoretically that's the plan. And, you know, 15% off was pretty good. So I said, okay, I'll buy another one. I, I had some, I, I'm going to buy another one. So I placed the order. It arrived... Well, today is Wednesday. It arrived on Monday. Um, ironically, I was in the garage doing some work when the delivery, the truck pulled up, and I was like, oh, there's a truck here. So I went over and I paid attention, and the driver came up and handed me that box um, and uh, something else. But the odd part was is it came from Amazon, and they had slapped the label right on the box, and then there was a little plastic thing up here with like a packing slip type thing on it and I, on top of that it was raining out so the entire surface of the box was pitted with little watermarks from the rain which I then grabbed a towel and dried off also the flap on this side was open uh, I did take a picture of it a still picture and I put that up on the just a brick in a bucket discord and saying hey this just arrived ha 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 um so I did some investigating and the first thing I wanted to know was is this the copy that I ordered from Walmart? I don't remember ordering it from two different places. This is weird. Uh, the packing slip indicated that I had purchased it from Amazon, but I don't remember doing that. I went to Amazon on my page and looked through all my orders going back about two months. Had not ordered this in two months uh, or more. And so I'm like, okay, this is strange. So then I, I contacted the seller through Walmart. I, I couldn't actually get Walmart to cough up the actual... Um, uh, information about the order it just showed like the um, purchase price which at that point I then realized that the purchase price was more than retail uh, it, I had paid $285 for this and I was just like okay did I get did I mix up and think it was a $300 set instead of a $200 set and I bought it at $15 off at $285 but that was with tax so I'm not sure it might have been you know 15% off and then adding the tax and it brought it back up to 285. I don't know, but in any case, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I made that error. But the fact that it came from Amazon and clearly that they slapped the label right on the box and I was just like, that's kind of unacceptable. So I was like, I wasn't sure what to do. I sent the, the seller an email, just an innocuous email going, what shipping method did you use? Trying to verify whether or not there's another one coming and this, there's a stray one and and I never heard from the, the seller, and I'm not surprised. Um, and then the next day, I got a message from Walmart saying, your package has been delivered. And so it was delivered at noon. And I was just like, yeah, I was home at noon, and uh, FedEx, who they said it was delivered with, wasn't here. I actually get FedEx updates in my text messages. And so every day, I, I will wake up and I will see, and I'm like, oh, look, there's three packages coming via FedEx, uh, or whatever. And when they came that day, the two packages, both of them were much smaller than this. So I'm like, yeah, that didn't come via FedEx. So I went and did a little more digging. And on Walmart, they had the option at that point, once it was delivered, to return it. And I was just like, yeah, let's return it. So I clicked on it and I went through the steps. And they gave me the option of sending it back or bringing it to a store. So I'm just like, well, I need to get a couple of things out anyway. So let's take it to the store. And I said, I'm, I'm thinking to myself on the way there, I'm like, this could be a problem because I purchased it on Walmart and yet it was shipped from Amazon. So it would be very easy for me to just say that it was shipped from Amazon. And so I'm not really sure how that was going to go. But I walked in and they were on the phone with somebody and I waited patiently. And then I stepped up and I kind of tried to explain the whole story to them um, a little more succinctly than I have in this video because, well, it wasn't for a video. And... They seemed, they looked it up, they said it was a little odd, something seemed a little odd to them, and I think maybe it was the fact that there was no tracking information on um, 
uh, FedEx because it, it said it was delivered, but there was no tracking. So I was just like, I'm not sure how anybody can do that. Uh, but then they approved the return and they gave me a slip to show that the return had been made. And then I was kind of curious. So like, you're just going to send that back to the, that third party seller. I'm like, yep, we'll just box it up and it, it may end up going to a warehouse for Walmart somewhere and then getting shipped to them. I don't know, but that's going to be an interesting surprise to them when they get that set in essentially an unsaleable condition. I mean, yes, the parts inside are new. You could brick link them. You could sh for certain sell the set as like new, unopened, but the box is open and, you know, so on and so forth. But he's not going to get $285 for it. And that's, that's for sure. So I wanted to just alert people that that sort of thing might happen. Now, I couldn't verify if what the original price was that I had seen. Uh, the Walmart price showing that I paid the 285 it is possible that I mistakenly thought that was a great price and bought it. Um, it's also possible that maybe I tried to buy it and in between when I went to buy it at an actual 15% discount and when it got processed, the ones that they had for 15% off were gone and then they shifted me to the next cheapest one, which is the 285. Not really sure what happened, um, but I was able to return it. And this is an illustrative set so that I'm not showing you a video of my couch. Um, so this is my first not a haul. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you.